So we've got the room pretty much set up and actually what I want to do is extend this background here because this isn't just a door, this is actually going further into a hallway back there. So what we want to do is split this face because right now it's just a single face and I can't push this door back without pushing the entire wall back. So what we've got to do is add another edge and cut out this face, basically. So we're going to use the multi-cut tool for that. And that's under Mesh Tools, Multi-Cut. So here we can add edges and vertices. So if you hold down Control, that's going to add a whole loop. And let's just add it right on the edge of the door, on the inner edge here. I'm going to add another one, and then I also want to add one on the side, right there. So this is what we want to push back into, further into space. So I'll grab this face, now I can select it. Again, click and hold right mouse button to get to your face. And I can just push this back, but you'll see it warps all these faces, and we don't want that. We want it to extend straight back with a corner. So for that we're going to be extruding. So to extrude, you can do Control E, or you can go to Edit Mesh, Extrude. And this is going to create extra faces right here, <clears throat> so that you can push this back and, and have more of a corner. So I'm going to push this back, extending this way back there. You'll see as you go further back, that brown line starts to get lower and lower. But I think since our perspective isn't quite perfect, we're having to push it back a little too far. So I'm just going to uh, fudge it a little bit by moving this up, even though it wouldn't do that in reality. And I also don't want to see these uh, corners. It's not a hallway, it's a whole room behind there. So I'm going to scale this face as well. I hit R to get to my scale tool, it's right here. And I'll just scale it sideways so that we're no longer seeing the edges of the room there. And I'll do that, and I'll also, I don't want to scale this up because then that'll affect this edge here. I just want to move this top edge higher. So I'm going to go to my edge selection mode, select the edge, hit W to get to your move tool, and we'll move it up. And as long as it's higher than the door here, uh, you'll be good. You shouldn't be able to see it. Great, so we've gotten this far. So now what's really cool is, you know, we can move around this room and now we have that parallax for that back room back there. But as you can see, we only, we're, we're kind of limited. We don't have the full room back here. All we have to work with is the texture on the image. So these walls here, the texture is being stretched all the way across them, which isn't really ideal. Actually, I'm going to shrink this a little bit more. And I'm just going to bring these all the way down to this white corner here. And so now we have, we have it all lined up, but when we're doing this parallax, we're seeing these, these stripes here. And that's just because it only has one pixel across to stretch all the way this distance. So we can load another texture in there. Uh, we can do we can do anything. Uh, what I'm going to do is just hide it by extruding out. So I'm going to select these three faces in the hallway, and I'm going to extrude it. So that's Control E. And you want to use the blue arrow. The blue one is the one that pushes out. So pushing that out and away, so that we can't really see it anymore. And now we have, well, so see, we still have the texture being projected in there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll just color this uh, a different material. So I'm going to assign a new material. I'll make it a Lambert. Uh, again, I'll crank the ambient color all the way up. And for the color, I'm just going to select with my eyedropper, I'm going to select this brown. <clears throat> 